Here are five things I want you to know about the Odacite Mineral Drops before you buy. I usually compare these to current favorites, one of which happens to be the Say Slip Tint. So I'm gonna mention a few others in here as well, and I will apply the two side by side so you can get a comparison. But first up, we're gonna talk about ingredients, and I'm gonna remove what I currently have on so I can apply this live with you. Kinda live. $48, five shades available. I have it in the lightest shade, which I think was a whoopsie. I think it's a little too light for me, to be honest. I would have loved the darker shade, but so goes life. It's not a deal breaker. Oh, that's a nice face massage. I'm just gonna leave my forehead for now. This is vegan, gluten-free, alcohol-free, and soy-free. Water first formula, lots of emollients inside. I'm a big fan of Odacite, honestly. They're not paying me to say this. I purchased this product. Even if they send it to me, I don't guarantee good reviews. You're always gonna get my honest review over here no matter what. If you like that kind of thing, by the way, don't forget to take two seconds, hit that like button. If you wanna keep seeing more of them, it really helps support the channel. So thank you for that. There's calendula, niacinamide, green tea. This is very skincare meets makeup meets sunscreen. There is rosemary leaf extract at the very bottom of the list. That could be irritating for highly reactive skin types. I am not a dermatologist. I am not a cosmetic chemist. That should surprise nobody watching. So, you know, I just look for transparency and any major red flags. And it's also just as important for me to look at the environmental impact of these products. So I'm trying to avoid plastic at all costs. I know it's not the only answer. This is a glass container. 12% zinc, this is UVA, UVB, and the highest PA rating possible. I believe they say that PA++++. It has a sun repair complex. It is meant to enhance antioxidant activity by 200%, supposedly. So that's cool. I'm not, I'm not against that. So you're gonna see, this is a very drippy, wet formula and it does not smell at all like sunscreen. Overall, for ingredients, I'm not surprised. I trust Odacite quite a bit right now, but it looked good to me. Check them out on your own. I have a deep dive back on the scorecard on the website. Now, application as we get into it. You're supposed to be using a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm not covering the entire face, but I'm gonna use a good amount. I put a good amount on my hand because that's what you should be using if you wanna use this for sun protection. So I would say one of the key benefits of this, it's a really strong level of sun protection with a tint. I had a hard time finding that. I did see something from Bloom Effects, which I haven't fully reviewed over here. Great company, great brand. I would say application wise, this is very rich. It is not thick, it's watery, but rich watery. It feels almost velvety. I think that's the right word, if you know what I mean. Definitely a strong cast once applying. It's still pretty light, but the tint is light. I don't think that would happen with the second shade in for me, or the second darker shade. However, if you'll notice, as it's sitting on my skin, it is evening out the redness that we just saw. You're also seeing bounce from the glowiness. That's another factor here. This is dewy stuff has 12% zinc oxide. I don't know if I said that, so I just wanted to let you know. Heads up about the application here. If you're applying, I do gua sha in the morning and I use an oil. When I was applying this over that, it was really messing with the texture of my skin. It was showing texture when there is none. It's a water first formula and I found working with a face cream, not an oil, or you know, getting as much of that oil off as possible really helped there. And I did not use a brush. I did not use any tools except for the ones that I came onto this earth with. So I feel like that is not lifting any of this product off. That's not the point of sun protection as we know. You know that. Application four out of five here, because it is a tinted moisturizer with SPF, I'm checking on coverage. We already talked about it. It's supposed to be complexion correcting with color adapting pigments that blend immediately. You know, I don't even know why I did this side. I wanna put a different product here. <laughs> so I'll take that off. And yeah, the fair shade looked a little creepy at first, I understand that, but it really is kind of evening out nicely. The longer I let it set, the better it does, and look at that. I mean, I just brushed my face with a towel, but redness evening out, so that's a nice little comparison for you. I like the coverage here quite a bit. I gave it a three out of five, not to bury the lead, but I think I would bump it up to a four because for this type of sunscreen protection, it's really good coverage. It's just, I'm gonna talk about the finish in a second. It's just really dewy. So speaking of that, this is the Say Slip Tint. It's lightweight, it feels like a gel, gives the perfect amount of tint. 
it's there's a reason it this and the sun visor have been on my list but this is going to give you spf 35 is this something that i would wear if i'm out in the sun all day and expect to have great protection from the sun no i don't think so i i really would need something more powerful than that and i don't have something with a tint so I don't believe in mixing SPFs on your own with a tinted product. I feel like we probably lose the integrity of the SPF formula. So anyway, I just wanna put that out there. This is definitely the Odyssey from the touch test. You feel it, the sage just sort of vanishes and goes away. And obviously this shade does a great job. I mean, this is such a light layer. I don't usually wear foundation, except I have this channel. And so I find myself wearing more foundations because I'm testing them. So it just does a great job. I can wear it on its own, but it's not gonna give me the level of protection from the sun that this will. I really feel like I need to get the next shade, the darker shade. Finish overall was a four out of five because it's dewy, but I do wanna show you something that I think is a good trick here. And that is using a powder foundation on top. That's the way I will mix it with another product. This is the Lily Lolo Powder Foundation in Cool Caramel. One of my favorites of the bunch. Currently not on Brick's picks, so you're getting a nice little bonus. And then I just press this on top to even things out. If this is too dewy for you, because that would drive me nuts, honestly, maybe a poof would work well. I don't want too much powder, but this can take it. It's very, very hydrating. And then, you know, you can do it on this side too, because I've got a lot of glow there, but it's gel glow. It's not that, it's not tacky. It's just kind of a light glow. So there you go. Finish overall, I gave a four out of five for the Odyssey Tay Mineral Drops. I think it does a really nice job. The skin looks like the skin. You know, the skin is skinning, as they say. So I'm not seeing separation. I'm not seeing texture. If I had oil underneath, I did see that. Keep it in mind. But overall, I think it did a great job. So finally, the wear test. Sunscreens are tricky with wear tests. It's like you don't want it to wear for eight hours because you need to keep applying. That's something to consider here. If you're going to be outside hiking or beaching or whatever at the pool, whatever you're doing outside and you need protection, it's frustrating because sometimes you want a little bit of coverage, but you know you have to reapply. That's where I think this feels like a bit of a hero to me and I really like it for that. This you can just reapply and reapply and you still get coverage and you don't have to worry about that. Then you can go out and you know, your skin's pretty evened out and it's still protected if you're outside. Say, I don't think it would do that. I don't know why I gave it a three out of five on the wear test. I think I need to bump that up because honestly, I can't fault it for what it's doing and it's really strong coverage. So this is a live change for the scorecard. It will be a four out of five on the scorecard. I do wanna also mention one of the main contenders to this that I think, I, I do need to test this a little bit better. I've had this for a while. They gifted this to me, so I feel kind of bad about that. But it was right in the middle of a move. So sorry, Bloom Effects. But this is their Tulip Dual Sunscreen Serum. I think this also had a little bit of irritation factor for me. Not bad ingredients, it just depends. That's why it's very tricky to talk about ingredients, but ooh. I need to really shake this up. This looks weird. All right, so this is like a great alternative. This is just straight up dewiness with a very subtle tint. I think that's gonna be, but it also has skincare in it. I'm just live trying it now. It's kind of the same, except there's no PA rating. So I will put that to the test. The last one that I wanted to mention, I think this is always going to be compared to the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I don't have a bottle of that that has not expired, so I'm not gonna put that on my face. But something that doesn't get talked about ever and is totally different, but I happen to love, is the Impeccable Skin from Suntegrity. This stuff is a little pricey, so listen, I get it if it's not your thing, but this is a rich kind of creamy product that applies like velvet on top of the skin. It does not give tons of dew. That's the other two products underneath of it. It has to be, I mean, just trying it right now makes me want to put it back on my Brits picks. It's not going to give you the same PA coverage. So that's when you are looking around and you're comparing these things, this is so dewy. That's testing it against three really strong products. 
And this is still unique in its own. I'm sure there's other things out there like it. If you know something like it that you think I should test, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. But this is really becoming a quick standout product because I'm not finding a lot like it. And I know Korean sunscreens are like the best out there. Everybody's always saying that to me. They're like, girl, just go for the green sunscreens or something. I'm like, all right, I gotta look, I gotta get further into that. I need to do it. For now, the total score here is going to be a 15 out of 20 for the Odyssey Mineral Drops. You've already heard what I think about it. What do you think about them? Do you think you would use them or would you try something else that I mentioned? Or I have other products, tinted moisturizers with SPF that are over here. Now I'm just finishing up the face because it's very dewy. It's so dewy. You can check that out on the playlist or of course, you like I said earlier, you can beeline it back to my favorites back on the website. If you did find this helpful, please remember to take two seconds to hit that like button if you haven't already. It really, really does help. And I'll be right back here real soon. Until then, enjoy the playlist. Bye.